Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. <clears throat> this video is regarding seizure of the passport, not seizure, impounding of the passport by the court. So, is it legal? Is it valid or not? We are going to discuss because uh, very previously also in my previous videos I told you that passport cannot be impounded by the police, by the court. They can be seized, that's all. Impounding the passport is the authority with the FRO, that is, or whatever it is, passport authority. Now, once again, such incident has come to light and the Honorable Supreme Court of India. <coughs> so, here we are going to discuss the Karnataka High Court judgment first, right? So, court cannot impound the passport under section 104 CRPC as it can be done only by the competent authority or the passport authority. So, Justice M. Nagaprasanna of Karnataka High Court, she said while disposing the case of Praveen Sudhindran, Praveen Surendran, Surendran, most likely our Surendran, versus State of Karnataka in criminal petition number 1892 by 2022 on 21st March 2022. You can see the citation in Live Law 2022, Karnataka, page number 87. So here it is clearly stated that the court cannot impound any document under 104 CRPC. First of all, you may be knowing, according to 102 CRPC, police officer, any police officer, if he suspects any property to be uh, allegedly or suspected to have been stolen or uh, which may be found under the circumstances which create suspicion of any commission of the offence then the police officer can seize the same that is 102. Coming to 104 please remember power to impound document which is produced before the court. So any court may if it thinks fit it is, this is more important any court may if it thinks fit impound any document or thing produced before it under this court. So here by reading the Bayer Act provisions you can be under the impression that uh, any document which is produced before the court can be impounded by the court. But here the interpretation as far as the interpretation concerned Karnataka High Court stated definitely they can impound any document uh, and but passport is not such document to be impounded. Why? Because section 10 of the Passport Act says that only competent authority can impound the passport. So this is stated in this uh, Surendran, Praveen Surendran case. Right. Okay. Now coming to the facts of the case. So this Surendran is not an ordinary fellow. Actually a case uh, is accused of the offences under sections uh, Cheating 420, 465, forgery. Uh, these are the 467, 468, and for almost all uh, cheating for the purpose of forgery. Sorry, forgery, purpose of, purpose of cheating, all these sections are there. So, actually, this complaint is given by Mr. S. Vaidishwaran. He is the Chief Executive of uh, Executive Officer of uh, MG, MEMG International India Private Limited. Okay. So that means uh, this man cheated him and uh, of course he is a white collar, a white collar offender, right? So the police reached the case, the accused has been arrested, his passport has been seized and when the case is pending. Now what happened is this uh, uh, Surendran, his son is uh, studying in Paris, of course because of the COVID-19, he has come back to India. Now once again he has to take him and get him admitted to Paris school or college, I don't know. So, education has to be prosecuted and done. So, he has to go and admit him. This. So, therefore, he wanted uh, the passport uh, to be handed over to him since it is already been uh, seized by the police and uh, kept in the court custody. He wanted to get back the same uh, to go to Paris, right? Now, the high court, uh, what happened is the uh, high court, yes, <coughs> a preferred application before the trial court, of course for the release of the passport on the ground that his son is studying in Paris but uh, and that he has to go to Paris uh, to get him admitted uh, in a school school right but the trial court rejected the same on uh, 2nd March 2022 but the time is very fast therefore he has approached the honorable 
High Court of uh, Karnataka, says, which has uh, clearly stated that you are not the competent authority to impound the same. So now the, uh, this court has clearly stated that uh, the compounding authority, the impounding authority is the passport authority. So we has to approach the passport authority for the release of the same from the court, right? So what he has done is the court has advised uh, the accused, actually this man of Sarindran, to approach uh, the passport authority whether there are any grounds uh, to impound the passport, if not, release the same. So the opinion has to be taken from the passport authority. Of course, you know the defense. You, you must know the defense also. The Advocate General he has argued vehemently that if the passport is released, if the passport is handed over to him, if he goes to Paris, there is no hope of getting him back. This problem is also there, is it not? But still, court said, Are Baba, it is the duty of the compound passport authority whether to impound or not. Your duty is only to seize, that's all. Even the court, even the court 104 CR, according to section 104 CRPC also, is not competent to impound the passport. It can impound any other document. So, to conclude, I want to tell you that the passport can be impounded by only the competent passport authority under section 10 of the Passports Act. If you know this much, it is sufficient. Thank you very much.